first it was just raw data, raw information, like a punch in the face. First words were very aggressive, obvious expressions, words you can almost say with your face. And eventually there was this Helen Keller moment for the human race, rock. There's all kinds of different rock. There's rock hanging over your head, there's big rock, there's little rock. There's all kinds of different ways to rock, interact with something that might be called rock. Now I can put these words together as a complete picture of reality. They rock the idea that it moves or that it changes or that it ages or that it changes color or all of the different things things could do. Describe them with words in a more complete way. DNA reproducing itself. No rhyme or reason, an accident of biology, of chemistry, to create what we call biology. Bug planet, organisms eating each other. I don't see what there is to celebrate about that. Sounds pretty awful and nasty to me. Crude forces in control of precious commodities. You have to accept unintelligent design if you're an atheist. You want to call yourself a real atheist. All we got is one force, natural selection. 99 times more friction than function. DNA molecule designed to consume and reproduce. And that's all you've got. We're intelligent cockroaches. A lot of conversion happens through personality. Period. You know, popularity. Impressive, endearing, lovable, respectable. So that's a big part of this thing. Somebody's popular, somebody's endearing, somebody has charisma. Oh man, I'm retard paint. The paint used by a retard to finger paint. To be satisfied with that condition or circumstance, you have to be either really, really dumb or you have to be full of shit. You don't deserve any goddamn respect or consideration, these religious fucking goddamn arrogant assholes. They have a goddamn cartoon for a fucking philosophy and they want to impose it on somebody else. It's preposterously idiotic. I mean, this is just... This is just silly to sit there and have to placate preposterous nonsense that none of these assholes really believe. They only believe it because they're afraid of the fucking truth. They, better than the atheists, know that the truth means, oh my fucking god, life is stupid. Passive pussy atheist versus hard atheist. And uh, converting somebody from like Christianity to pantheism, well that's a whole different kind of conversion than converting somebody from Christianity to, oh my god, we evolved, we're fucking goddamn bugs. It's a tougher conversion. It doesn't have to do with the style of the argument. Let's do with the charisma of the arguer. And you can see that in how the religious are kept religious personality people, you know, that keep the religion alive. The boring priest has been out of business a long time. That evidence speaks volumes for what controls people. Look, what is atheism? It's basically accepting unintelligent design. If you believe there was an intelligent designer, you're not an atheist, you're something else. Because that's essentially a god. But anyway, the point is, is the truth is the truth. Okay, until next time. And such, and whatnot and so forth.